how do you map a B2B mapping into uh, cloud integration? I think that's a question I'm getting quite a lot on the lately. So I thought we might as well look into and see if this is all possible. So here we have our message mapping. To, to ma migrate it, we will go to the FIGAF tool. Here we will select this ICO that we have, where it's being used. We will create a new iFlow with it. We will select our beta profile. Uh, we'll not just retry, that's not really required right now. And we will check the status of this. And we can see now it is using an HTTP sender here. Uh, I think I overwrote that last time I was trying this out. And it has an, a file uh, receiver here. We can also see it has a condition. So that means you can actually go in and reject certain uh, scenarios that you do not want in this specific iFlow. And then we can see that it uses this mapping. And then we have uh, re shared artifacts for these other uh, mappings that we have migrated. So our idea was we first performed the mapping once and then we have been able to take these items, update them, and now they are in this uh, instance repository, so we can always update these. Um, but to start with, they were migrated using the tool also. But there were some manual checks to be performed now. We can preview it and it looks okay, and now we can migrate it. And this will migrate this iFlow into a CPI iFlow. We can open this iFlow. And now we need to adjust uh, the center of this. Um, so it's, some of the mapping failed. Just so now I've configured these uh, settings. We can just save it, and now that is, is good. So the, the other thing we need to do here is we need to add an EDI converter, because this is just mapping to the XML. To do that, we go in and we add a Content converter, XML to EDI. We add it just here before we send the message. And then we click on it. We select where the schema is added. And we select the upload from our local file system. We have this EDI here. So this is coming from the PI system. And we should be able to extract that also. If we want to look at the message mappings we have here, we can open it so you can see it is one of the standard ones from the templates. Uh, if you look at, for instance, the UNH, you can see it is using this init global container. If you look at the script here, we can see what kind of script it is. And we can see we have done some manual modifications to change this to use the, the properties instead for the scenario. So that's all good. We will save as version. We will deploy it. And now we want to check that it actually works. So before we just get started, we also want to synchronize it so the FIGAF tool knows what is the latest version of this uh, iFlow with all the different artifacts that we have in it. Take a little while. And now it is synchronized. That means we can go in and we can compare these objects if we want to and see what the difference are. But now it's not compare. So we can actually do the mapping comparison report, but let's just do the BPMM here. We can see that there is some difference on it. This bug is being fixed. Um, okay, next up is we will go here. We will select the uh, the new one we created, and we will migrate test cases for it. We can select one of the test cases that we already created. Migrate to iFlow, we'll add it to an existing test case, and we will update it, we'll create a new one. EDI test, we will specify where we can find the outgoing message. And now we can create this, we can run it. We need a license for this to test it. And we can check the result of this. Testing So all of this, it's a little fast. What I wanted to show you is whether or not this actually work and if we could actually see what is going on. We can check here in the iFlow if it has been deployed. We can see it's been processed. We can check the, the traces 
of this. So we can see we're getting some errors on this. We can see that it has fetched the, the data. There is something we need to fix with the mapping. Um, because that is incorrect. There is a date element here we need to ignore. There are some different settings here. But in general, we have been able to migrate this EDI document with all the settings. So there's some more work we need to do to automate this and make sure that it is the, an easy way to deal with these things. So you do not need to spend as much time on these uh, scenarios and you can speed up the delivery process. I hope you want to try it out. Uh, go to fiaf.com and tr sign up for the migration tool there and you'll be able to see some of these things. We are going to improve this over the next release and this is... Um, I hope you like this and you can see how this can simplify the way you're delivering your integrations, uh, being able to migrate the EDIs. So obviously there's a long way. We also need to migrate it and uh, import it. I do hope you like this and you can see the benefits of this and how this can be a way for you to make it easier to manage your integrations and your migration projects. There is some other things we obviously need to figure out into this and automate the process a little more. We need also to in incorporate this into the trading partner management scheme because that is the ideal place to place something like this. But for right now, I just wanted to show we can actually take your EDI mappings and convert them to uh, something useful that you can actually use. So I hope this was relevant check it out and share it with your colleagues and click the like thank you